Choosing a safe, smart solution to dispose of unused and unneeded household hazardous materials is easy, no matter when or why you decided to dispose of them. The safe, smart solution is to take household hazardous waste to your nearest regional collection center. All you have to do to get started is make a list. Here's how. When you properly dispose of household hazardous materials, you're protecting your children from accidental poisoning. You're helping to keep your drinking water pure and our land clean. You're also protecting your home from fires, explosions, and the buildup of toxic fumes. Tossing unwanted household hazardous materials in the trash or pouring them directly down drains or storm sewers is dangerous. Sanitation workers can be injured and their equipment can be damaged. Drinking and recreational waters can be impaired and aquatic habitat destroyed. Choose a safe, smart solution. It's easy. The first step is to make a list of what you no longer need or want. Go room to room, checking out all the places you store household hazardous materials. Jot down what you find. Check your kitchen, bathrooms, garage, and basement. Don't forget bedrooms and closets, and if you have a storage shed, check it too. List the materials, noting the name, amount of material, and number of containers. For example, drain cleaner, one half can, or weed killer, one quarter bottle. You get the idea. When you call your regional collection center for a drop-off appointment, they'll want to know what hazardous materials you will be bringing in and how much. While you're making your list, check for leaking or unmarked containers. Place leaking containers in a Ziploc bag. You can also use an old paint bucket with kitty litter in the bottom to absorb leaking material. Keep unmarked materials separate from other products. When you talk to your RCC, they will tell you how to handle them safely. Now that you've made your list, it's time to call your nearest regional collection center. They're sometimes called RCCs, and they're located all across Iowa. There's one near you, and it doesn't cost anything to properly dispose of most household hazardous materials. To find location and contact information for your nearest RCC, go to safesmartsolutions.org for a full listing. You can also find them in your phone book under the listing for your area's solid waste agency. Call your RCC to make your appointment. Have your list and calendar handy. When you call, they'll want to know when you'd like to come in and what you'll be bringing. If you have questions, just ask. They'll provide information for you to safely handle and transport your household hazardous materials. Write your appointment on your calendar, along with the phone number and directions to the RCC. Pretty easy so far, right? Now that you've made your appointment, all that's left is to safely gather your household hazardous waste. Here's how. Get a sturdy cardboard box. Just before it's time to leave home for your appointment, get your list, collect your materials, and place them in the box. Next, securely load your box of household hazardous waste into the trunk of your car. Use the trunk so the materials or any vapors don't come in contact with passengers or pets. If you can transport materials in the bed of a pickup truck, that's even better because risks from vapors are further reduced. Leave for your appointment immediately and drive straight to the RCC. This is for safety. Again, so any fumes from the materials don't accumulate in the vehicle and pose a safety risk to you or your passengers. Dropping off household hazardous waste at the RCC is easy and usually only takes a few minutes. Here's what to expect. When you arrive at the RCC, you may be instructed to stay in your vehicle or to simply open your trunk. A technician will greet you, check you in for your appointment, and then unload your vehicles. You'll sign a form for their records. That's all there is to it. On a side note, many RCCs operate swap shops. Swap shops are redistribution points for gently used or previously purchased new household hazardous materials that you may take for free. Using materials from a swap shop is a green alternative to purchasing new. The next time you need a small quantity of a household hazardous material to finish off a project, check the swap shop first. They might have just what you need. 
Well, it's as simple as that. Choosing a safe, smart solution to dispose of household hazardous waste really is easy. Thanks for watching. And remember, to learn more, visit safesmartsolutions.org. When we change our ways, we change our world.